Hello and welcome to another Mix Lessons Online video quick tip. Uh, today we're going to address the issue of the bottom end in the mix. If you've ever res wrestled with it like most of us do, here's a quick and simple little technique that is going to drastically improve the low end in your mixes. Uh, have a listen to this piano for, for a second here. I'm going to bring up the piano here in this track. This is a track, by the way, by a band called The New Confusion, and I'll have, I'll have a link to where you can check out more of their music in the uh, description on this video. But have a listen to this piano part. What we got there is a nice, full, round, fat piano part. And if this was a solo piano piece, that'd be fantastic. But it's not. There are other tracks in the mix. So what we want to do, as a general rule of thumb, I recommend that every track in your mix, with the exception of perhaps one, either the kick drum or the bass line, whatever you deem to be the more important bottom end uh, uh, feature in the mix, every track, every other track should have a high pass filter or a low cut filter. It means the same thing. And what I mean by this is roll off the low end on every track in your mix that is not the bottom end instrument. And you should choose only one. There can be only one. Um, so what I'm going to do on this piano part is I'm going to do just that. So have a listen again and I'll uh, roll off the bottom end here. You'll hear what, what happens. original track and here's what the bottom end rolled off. I'll just toggle that for you. So you might be thinking, Des, but then the piano sounds thin and weak and it's not as, as impactful as it was before. Well, uh, I'll tell you, in the mix, it doesn't really uh, have that effect. Have a listen when I bring in the rest of the instruments. Okay, now listen to the piano, I'm going to roll off the bottom end. And if you can hear that, what basically happened there is the piano still sounds just fine in the mix, but it all of a sudden opened up a little extra headroom, a little extra space for the bass line to sit in. Uh, have a listen one more time. You notice it does barely anything uh, uh, to the to the piano's tone in the context of the mix, but it does open up some room for the rest of the bottom end uh, to take its place. So there's an, there's an interesting little quick tip for you. And if you want more like this, check out mixlessons.com. As mentioned, mixlessons.com is part of the Tech Muse Academy. To learn more about the Tech Muse Academy or to subscribe to the Tech Muse podcast, visit www.techmuse.ca.